Hey everybody, it's Louie from Louie's Big Adventures. Down here north of the Rio Grande where the Gulf of Mexico meets the Texas sand, better known as the uh, Padre Island National Seashore. From about 36, 37 miles down here. Let me give this a quick try. See if we can catch anything. It's Tuesday, August 1st, about 6 in the well, I didn't catch anything here at the, uh, I don't know, 35, no, 37 or so. But it get a, some funky weed. Hope that's not a, the way it's going to be all day tomorrow. Anyway, the good news is I didn't catch a catfish. That is good news. So, I'm moving on. So far, the drive-in on low tide here has been pretty easy. I did have to engage four-wheel drive to go around a, a shark fisherman there. But I can see at high tide it'd be pretty soft. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was that way when I was down here last Wednesday. Definitely needed four wheel drive at high tide on the coming in and also going off, so off the beach. I've had a few questions of people that live not on the coast here. What is this rig on the front? Well, it's mainly just to carry your ice chest and your fishing poles. It makes it a lot easier. You get your bait right out of there and you catch a fish, you just throw it right in. So that's the purpose of this, is to make your fishing life easier. I'd like to give a shout out to Nick Meyer over at Breakaway Tackle. He always fixes my stuff when I tear it up or has a solution. He's a good guy. Fish on. There we go. There's, there's a nice breeze right now. Nice and cool. It was pretty brutal earlier. Fish on. Maybe. Fish off. Dang it. What I got going on here? Those of y'all that don't know, this is called, it's a man lift. It's used to swing people over from an offshore old rig onto a crew boat. It carries men, the men hang on there and they jump off onto the boat. I don't know what this thing's story is. How did it get here? I wonder how far it traveled. Well, thanks everybody for fishing with me today. The water's been, it was really, really nice, except for some strange, funky weed. Seems like it's always a challenge fishing in the surf. I, before we were contending with the dirty water and now contending with this weed. Hopefully it won't last too long. But the water is nice. It's really clear. Anyway, come up on the 50 mile mark. Headed north. Good old ways to go.
go. Other than the, the beach and a few spots, pretty soft. So if you can, if you want to come down here and not waste a lot of gas, come down on the low tide. It's easier driving. Anyway, until the next adventure. Here's some more soft stuff. Looks like it's going to be a long ride home.